Fernando was a very giving person. He touched the lives of so many people on a personal level and also through his work. And it took me a long time to believe he was dead. So after I was able to accept his death, I figured, well, I cannot accept his art dying with him. Fernando pursued his dream, which was to become a, a, a photographer. People started giving him opportunities to go photograph um, Madonna's house. And then he went on to say, photograph celebrities at their house. He had had easy 50 covers of magazines from Vanity Fair to El Decor to In Style, but he wanted to do more. You know, just the interior design was obviously his passion and paid the bills, right? But it wasn't how he wanted to be remembered. So he had those big Karma Trees series. There were eight of them. That series pretty much made him famous or more known for this woven. Back to the early, early times, the only thing that every major culture, globally speaking, you know, from the mm -hmm. Aztecs to the Mayas to the Egyptians, to whoever, all of them wove stuff. So Fernando wanted to continue that kind of message naturally, weaving our lives together. To tell you the truth, I do feel my brother's energy pass through me when I weave. I'm not saying that I'm like a, a crystal ball reader type of energy, you know, but I do feel a sense of peace and a sense of, of, of contributing and a sense of continuing something through me and him as collaboration. So when I weave now, many times I go and I f kind of forget and I try to match it perfectly and I realize, no, no, that's, that's not the style. That's not what he wanted. He wanted to make it perfectly imperfect on purpose. Keep it human. That's what he wanted. Just like life itself, 